Hello everyone, welcome to this video by Simply Learn. Today, we are diving into a critical aspect of IT operations that can make or break a business. Incident management. Suppose you are working on a crucial project and suddenly your laptop screen goes black. Is that an incident or is it just another event in your day? Well, let's clear that up right away. An incident is an event that disrupts or reduces the quality of a service, requiring an emergency response. In this situation, black screen error is an incident. But here's the thing. Every incident is an event, but not every event is an incident. Let me explain. Say you are scheduled to have a video call at 2 p.m. That's an event. It happens, you join, all is good. But what if your video app crashes right before the call? That event just turned into an incident. Now, why does this matter? In our digital age, even a small hiccup can have big consequences. But here's the good news. With a robust incident management process, you can turn a potential disaster into a minor hiccup. How? Simply put, it's the process that IT and development teams use to respond to these unplanned disruptions and get services back to normal. It's like having a well-rehearsed fire drill for your IT systems. So in this video, I will walk you through the incident management process step by step. We'll cover everything from identifying and logging an incident to resolving it, the essential tools required, various types of incident processes, and even learning from it to prevent future issues. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we commence, if you are interested in this field and want to become a certified ITIL professional, join Simply Learn's ITIL for certification training course. This course is designed to guarantee your success on first attempt, helping you ace the ITIL for foundation exam. Earn 22 PDUs with our comprehensive learning experience featuring over 30 quizzes, four mock tests, six simulation assessments, and more than 100 premium exam questions. Engage in both live classes and self-paced content, compete with real-life case studies and quizzes. Enroll now and take the next step in your ITIL journey. So, don't forget to check out the course in the description box below and the pinned comments. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, what is incident management and how is it related to ITIL? At its core, Incident management is a process used by development and IT teams to respond to these disruptions and restore services to their operational state. It's like having a well-rehearsed fire drill, but for IT issues. The goal is to reduce downtime and minimize the impact on productivity. Now, where does ITIL come in? ITIL, or Information Technology Infrastructure Library, it's like a cookbook for IT services. It provides best practices and incident management is one of its key recipes. ITIL gives IT teams a framework to manage incidents efficiently, ensuring they are not just putting out fires, but also learning how to prevent them. Let us now see why this is so important. Effective incident management can boost efficiency. With clear processes, IT teams can respond faster. Improve service quality prioritize and resolve issues promptly. Reduce downtime. Less downtime means more productivity. Learn and prevent. By analyzing incidents, teams can prevent future issues. Now let's take a real world example. Imagine you are running an e-commerce site and it's Black Friday. Thousands of customers are on your site ready to spend their hard earned money. Suddenly, your server crashes. That's not just an incident, that's a potential disaster. Without a solid incident management process, you could be looking at hours of downtime, lost sales, and damaged reputation. In our Black Friday scenario, an efficient incident management team would quickly identify the server crash, switch to backup servers, and have the site up and running in minutes, not hours. That's the power of good incident management. So we have now understood the importance let us discuss the types of incident management. ITSM or IT service management teams. They are the general practitioners of IT 
ensuring all IT services align with business needs. Site Reliability Engineering, SRE. They are the specialists focusing on building robust, scalable systems to prevent incidents. DevOps. They are the bridge between development and operations, aiming to make software delivery faster and more reliable. Each team brings a unique perspective, but all aim to keep your IT running smoothly. DevOps teams, in particular, follow a you-build-it, you-run-it approach. They believe that the engineers who build a service are best equipped to fix it when it breaks. Now let's move on to incident management process. Imagine you are working on a crucial project for your company's biggest client. You have got a presentation in an hour and suddenly your laptop screen goes black. Well, this is where incident management comes to the rescue. Let's see how. Incident login. You can quickly grab your phone and log this incident through your company's IT portal. You type laptop screen went blank, presentation in an hour, along with your name and the time it happened. This is the first critical step. Every detail matters because it helps the IT team understand the urgency and impact. Categorization. Your incident lands in the IT service desk queue. The technician reads your report and categorizes it under hardware and subcategory display issues. Why is this important? Well, if 10 more people report similar issues next week, the IT team can quickly spot this trend and investigate if there's a widespread hardware problem. Prioritization. Now, the technician has to decide how urgent your issue is. He or she sees that you have got a big presentation. That's urgent for you. But they also know that the sales team's CRM system is down, affecting 50 people. So they mark your laptop as priority three. It's urgent, but not impacting the whole business like the CRM system, which is priority one. Initial diagnosis and escalation. The IT team remotely accesses your laptop and tries a few quick fixes, restarting and checking display settings. No luck, they can't fix it remotely, so they log all required findings and escalate it to the hardware. Investigation and diagnosis. Now the other member from hardware takes over. He reviews the notes and digs deeper. After some tests, he finds that it's not a hardware failure. It's a driver issue. Your graphics driver crashed after a recent update. Resolution and recovery. After rolling back the driver to a stable version and testing it, your screen is back. The technician then carefully updates the newest stable driver. This duration is called the recovery time. Now, closure. With your laptop fixed, the IT team calls you to confirm whether everything's working perfectly or not, just in time for your presentation, and then closes the incident in their system, marking it as resolved. See how each step played a crucial role, from your detailed logging to a thorough diagnosis to the final confirmation. Each stage ensured that your IT issue was resolved effectively, minimizing downtime and stress. Let's now discuss the best practices in the incident management process. Log everything. The more details, the better. Train your team. Everyone should know the drill. Set clear alerts. Not every issue needs a 3 a.m. wake-up call. Learn from incidents. Each incident is a lesson for prevention. Now let's move on to important incident management tools. Incident tracking. Document every incident for trend analysis. Chat rooms. For real-time text communication during diagnosis. Video chat. Complements text chat for discussing findings. Alerting systems. Integrates with monitoring and manages on-call rotations. Documentation tools. Capture incident states and postmortems. Status page. Communicate status to stakeholders and customers. So in conclusion, incident management helps you respond to and recover from IT issues quickly, learn from them, and even prevent future ones. Whether it's a single laptop or a major server crash, good incident management keeps your business running smoothly. And with this, we have come to the end of our topic. If you enjoyed this video and found it valuable, don't forget to like and share. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.